Maybe that's a good start. <laughs> I want to take this moment to officially announce that the 2022 stewardship campaign has begun. <laughs> I feel it too. <laughs> There's electricity in the air. <laughs> Giving and gratitude is the theme of the stewardship campaign. Stewardship is vital to the life of Good Shepherd in terms of time, talent, and treasure. Just as our household budgets require a certain amount of revenue to meet obligations, so it is with the church. And it's up to us to make that happen. I want to thank the members of the committee, Gray Thomas, Mike Brown, George Tupper, Mary Coma, Peggy Quist, Tricia Riley, and Father Dow. I also want to thank you good and generous folks of Good Shepherd, who year after year respond so well to this particular call. I want to tell you that your packets are available by the door as you leave this morning. And I want to recognize Mary Comer for once again designing and assembling this beautiful packet that contains just about everything you would ever need to know about who we are. I particularly want to call to your attention the invitation to the, to the party on the 29th in celebration of another successful campaign. This will be at the Dorchester Boat Club, and it'll be a catered barbecue boxed dinner. So I hope everybody can make it. It'll be a, a real fun time. Also, in the back, there's a very nice letter from Father Dow, and something that I use almost every day, a pictorial directory of who we are. This is a very helpful tool. The overview of who we are, what activities and ministries are available for all of us to participate in, both inside the church and in the community. It's very well encapsulated in this brochure. I think you'll uh, be pleased with what you find. And the guest of honor, of course, is Stuart, Mr. Fletchdorf. <laughs> Don't forget that. Uh, very, very handily uh, stamped for your convenience to return. You may also put him in the alms basin on Sunday. And if you'd like, you can come by here during normal hours and drop him off. Or, if you're tech savvy, you can go through Realm, which I have yet learned, not learned to do. <laughs> I understand the ceiling knows how to do it. <laughs> um, the main thing is, please take these packets home, take a good look at them, make a prayerful consideration of, of what you want to give for the good benefit of Good Shepherd. Don't forget the 29th uh, Christmas party. Um, and on behalf of the committee, I want to thank you again. And as you make your prayerful consideration of your pledge, ask you to be kind, be generous, and give till it feels good. Um, beginning today and over the next few Sundays, we're going to hear from representatives of different organizations in the church, give you an idea of where your pledge dollars go. This morning, we're going to hear from Eleanor Coots representing Christian education. So thank you. Well, George H. is cheering the Braves this weekend, so. <laughs> um, we want to thank him for what he's doing with the youth program and uh, just a, a word on that. It is being switched to four o'clock on Sunday afternoons to, to uh, open up uh, the bio rhythms of the youth on Sunday morning. <laughs> uh, they've done really fun things. Uh, 
in conjunction with St. Stephen's Youth Group a lot. They've been on lots of field trips and George and Tina Dunning, his assistant, are doing wonderful things. So they are to be commended because I know that's always kind of a uh, challenging time. Not that the kids are challenging, but uh, to get to get young people excited about uh, coming to church, coming to Sunday school, and so here, here for both students and for their faithful leaders. And they're meeting at four o'clock. Any of you who have children or grandchildren to uh, open that up as a possibility for them on Sunday mornings. Um, what a beautiful packet, Mary. I mean, it, are any of y'all like, okay, I'm going to look back through my family pictures over the last year and like, oh, I didn't realize we did all these things. And to me, this is our family album once a year, so it's beautifully done. And today, the featured uh, info and focus is on Christian formation, which includes a lifelong learning and growing in our faith. Um, adult ed scheduled now is couched wonderfully between the new eight o'clock service and the 1030 service which allows us a full hour of conversation and learning and uh, growing in our faith and we've got some good offerings this year but 10 I mean nine o'clock is the golden hour <laughs> that's not bad nine o'clock <laughs> uh, um, for coming together and I think my understanding is just about everybody in this parish is vaccinated so if you feel comfortable it's a well spaced out time to have good conversation and learning. Um, Brooks Moore began the, the program year for adult ed with a uh, series on the Gospels made relevant. It was an easy way to enter the, the program year by looking at the gospel for that assigned for that Sunday and to see how that gospel spoke to each of us and to all of us in the world today. Brooks did a great job on that. Um, in October, Dow started a wonderful series this morning. Um, I'm not sure of the title, but uh, we had great conversation this morning about the disappointments that people can feel with the church or uh, just life in general and how we can see the, the examples of that in scripture. Even Jesus, why have you forsaken me? <laughs> uh, modeling for us that those are very real times for us and Dow's gonna continue to look at, at different uh, struggles when times we have and how we can lean into the fact that, that God, through Christ, uh, is walking with us through those things. So um, come back. It's really going to be a, a marvelous four-week uh, offering for October. Uh, in November, for two weeks, we're going to have, I think her name's Margaret Seidler, who is a lay leader in Charleston, who talks about civil discourse. Um, and if ever there were a time for us as the church living out our faith in the community, it's, it's certainly going to be helpful to me in how we respond to the call of, of God in loving one another as we love ourselves and love God. So uh, she's going to be doing one of the, of the talks and we're going to continue that discussion as a group. So that's in November. And Advent begins on Thanksgiving weekend this, this year. It starts a little early. Um, so polish off your drumsticks, sticky hands, and Becky, Be Betsy Luke is going to lead us in possibly with some other facilitators in looking at the liturgy of Advent and using Joan Chittister's, Chittister, Chittister's book on um, the liturgy of Advent. So we've got those wonderful things to look forward to in the fall. And um, during Lent, um, Dow and young George, I call him rather than 
little George or George H or uh, even the bishop was saying there are a lot of Georges in her family, but um, they're going to focus on living the way of reconciliation and how that has been lived out in our history through faith leaders in the community. So that's going to be a very dynamic thing during the five weeks of Christian education and, and during Lent. And um, we had one thing kind of fall through for Epiphany, and Dow has said that he would be happy to lead us in a discussion if we don't come up with something else uh, on uh, Rachel Hell Evans' new promise book that's coming out the end of October. And we know we have loved, loved her books before her untimely young death. Um, and this is her final book that she still had the manuscript of that her husband and, and editors are bringing out. So we've got that to look forward to either during Epiphany or during the Easter season. So there are lots of things, Perky. Please be a part of it. And um, there are great ways, whether you have ideas for uh, things you'd really like to, to learn about, to study and talk about, or whether you would like to participate in wonderfully helpful, practical ways, they're listed right here. So Christian formation, let's keep learning, growing in our faith all of our lives long. And thank you to all those who are faithfully helping in the children's program, in the youth program, and in the adult program. Thank you, John Bellamore. Let us stand and sing our opening.